name is Janie and I am a psychic medium. I actually read palms and I tell the past, present and future and I actually can speak from spirit so if someone comes through it will be somebody who's passed over. I would just like to say Michael, I'd like to say that your grandfather's here and which is your father's dad and he passed over with a heart attack and um, he was quite a, a biggish man, he was a very strong man, he was always fit all through his life and all of a sudden he just fell not quite well and he passed very quickly because he had a massive heart attack. It was very unexpected for the family and it was very upset. I also have another young lady here. She is 16 years old, nearly 17 when she passed. This is what she told me. She was very heartbroken when she passed because she was a very young lady who was diagnosed with cancer too late. She had cancer in the pancreas right through her body in the end and it actually went right through her body very quickly in a very short term but she had it when she was very young but they didn't realise what was wrong with her it wasn't until that her body didn't feel right that then we tried to get her some help but it was too late she is also a friend of Michael and she wants to say that thank you for all the help that you give her. She was very, very upset when she passed. She couldn't stop crying. She cried an awful lot. She couldn't understand why her young life was being taken so quickly. But what friends she had meant a lot to her. She never realised how many people cared about her until it was too late. She wants to thank her parents very much for all the support they gave her. Her parents have never really got over it and they absolutely adored her but wasn't in total understanding until it was really too late. They didn't know what was wrong with her. I would like to talk about Michael. What I picked up with Michael was that I feel like he's going to a new university. He's got a new option of two universities. He's, at the moment, he's not quite sure which way he's going to go, but there is a right decision for him, and there's a new university, but it's in a new location. It is not where you are, okay? So I've got a new location for you. I'm just going to have a look at Michael's hand and see what he tells me about him. Michael has quite a lot of anxiety. Uh, within himself he gets quite stressed with different things and he doesn't believe in himself. He will do as time gets, as he gets older. His young life has always been like, he's been very sensitive, he's had a few caring friends but he's had some people who have undermined him and not always been giving the support he needed. But his family are very close and they love him dearly. That's what I feel very strongly. With them. As I look at your hands, you have very strong hands, Michael. There's nothing um, secretive about you. The only thing I would say, you're a very private person. I would like to say, be more open and speak what you would like to say. You do suffer a little bit. I don't know if this is you or the young girl who's talking with me, but I've got stomach problems, so I do feel that you have a problem with your anxiety. So you tremble inside, but it's not that you can see it. Okay. I also feel um, that you've met love before, so I felt like you had young love, is that right? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if it's this lady who's passed or you had a lot of love for her, but if it's not her, I have a very lot of love for a lady, but it didn't work out. Yeah. Okay. That's just, that's the reason, so. Right, okay, so, um, but I feel there was a lot of love with this lady who was talking to me as well, but this lady, I don't know what went wrong, but it was almost like she broke your heart. She, you didn't see it coming, but she wasn't right for you. And I want to tell you, you've got a new lady coming into your life, and it won't be just yet, it'll be a couple of years. I want to talk about 21. 21, I don't know how old you are, but I want to say 21 is very significant for you in your life. Life, you'll have a very strong relationship. Sometimes you get very down with different things and you worry about things. Um, I want to say that you have found love once and it felt good but things went wrong. I don't know why it did but it just wasn't right and then we've, we've gone our separate ways.
Mm -hmm. I felt I had a lot of anxiety and issues around it. I couldn't couldn't always tell whether she wanted to be with me or she couldn't or she did want to be with me. It was very up and down. So it was never plain and simple. So I want to say when you're twenty one I've got somebody else coming into your life which is going to be much brighter. I feel through your study and everything, you're going to be coming very much more aware of people and people sensitive around you. You're very sensitive, so you have to be careful who you mix with and you need to sort of meet people like yourself, okay? Um, you're a very strong character. Um, I want to say around about 25, I'll take you to 25, you've got massive changes in your life and I feel um, you're going to grow spiritually as well but I also feel you're going to be in a very loving relationship. This lady who comes into your life, the right lady who comes into your life, she'll be quite petite, that's what I feel she is. She will have had you know, difficulties in her life, but you two will understand each other, you'll have an understanding. So I want to say at 25, you're very much knowing more where you're going in your relationship from, okay? also want to talk about work and everything. You have a lot of ambition, a lot of ambition, but you've got a lot more studying. I've got three more years of studying to do, which is going to take you to a better place. I want to work for myself. I will work for myself. I'm going to work for myself, but you're going to need support along the way. Once you find where you're supposed to be, your work will blossom, but it's going to take a little while to get there, okay? I do feel... Um, you're going to work for yourself. Partnership, you have thought about it, but I think for you as a person, you need to start it off alone and then bring people in to work with you. Um, I think you're very creative as well. There's more to just them going self-employed. I don't know why I've got with you, but I feel... Um, you're going to travel quite a bit with this as well. You know, so I've got broad with you. I don't know why I've got connections with the broad with you. Um, I've gone a little bit quiet there because I'm actually looking at his hands and studying his hands. Um, I do feel that you have travelled abroad quite a few times. With your business, you're not 100% sure which or where you're going to do it yet, but you've already opened a door, but you're slowly trying to put it together. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, I want to say to you also, and I've got to say this, you seem to be in the right place at the right time, do you? Yeah. So it's very lucky for you because being in the right place takes you where you need to be. When I look at your hands, it tells me that if ever you feel like something doesn't feel right, you must then take another look at it. Because sometimes you go head in. The same, take a step back and look at the situation. I do feel like you're talking about you want your own place, so I feel like as soon as you get bringing money in, you're going to buy your own place. I don't know what it is about you, Michael, but there's more to you than just writing, okay? So I feel that you're quite... Uh, I don't know if you're going to do stage work, are you? No. Do you know yeah. anybody who does? I know a few people. I've got stage around you, so I don't know what that means, but it's something. It can be the people who you meet, okay? Um, do you know anybody called John? Yes. Okay. Um, I want to ask you, are you about 19 at the moment? I'm um, 20. You're 20, all oh, right, okay. So I want to go to 19. Did your relationship end at 19? No, it started last year so that would be 19 so 19 you was in a relationship when they give me significant numbers they won't tell me exactly what it's about but 19 was very important yeah. in your life so you met somebody at 19 yeah. you know that's what I felt but i felt that you met somebody when you was quite young so 15 to 17 yeah. you know and that went on for a couple of years on and off mm. 